showing you guys some super simple and very healthy breakfast recipe ideas. I need to just narrow it down. I'm gonna give you some breakfast ideas. This specific video is just gonna be basically like what I actually like to eat in the mornings for breakfast. Some of the other things are a little bit more complicated and take more time to make in some of my other videos, but this is just gonna be really easy and simple and things that I just genuinely like to have for breakfast. Also, I realized that I did not use any fruit in this video and I don't know why. I just either wasn't thinking or we didn't have ripe fruit. Probably both. Feel free to use fruit. Without further ado, we are gonna get started with the first recipe. Okay, so for your excellent sandwich, I know I'm really clever, you're gonna need two eggs, a fourth of an avocado, some type of bread, I'm using coconut bread, of course, and then you're gonna need ketchup or salsa, whatever you prefer, and then heat up your pan and spray it down real good so your eggs don't stick, and then crack your eggs into the pan, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some toast in that toaster while they're cooking, and then flip your eggs over, and then salt and pepper if you would like, and then go ahead and get out the toast. Okay, that does not look toasted now that I see it, but it is toasted, toast enough for me. Then spread your avocado on there and top it with eggs, and then the salsa, ketchup, and your last piece of bread. Then cut it in half and bam, you are done. You were a child. Chia. Okay, so you're gonna need some chia seeds obviously for this chia seed pudding, some stevia, and then some almond milk, and I'm using chocolate flavored almond milk because why not? And you're gonna add just under one cup of your almond milk, and then a fourth of a cup of your chia seeds, and then you wanna sweeten it up so you can add stevia, you could add honey, you could add whatever you want to sweeten it, and then you wanna stir it up. You need to really stir this stuff. It's very important that you stir, stir, stir. And then you put your lid on and then pop it in the fridge overnight. And then when you wake up, your chia seed pudding will be ready for breakfast. So you can top this with fruit. You could stick some like bananas in there. I'm just using peanut butter, some coconut flakes, and goji berries. And then you can put the lid on and take it to school with you. It's super easy and quick and it's so delicious. Alright people, so for the peanut butter parfait, you're going to need some type of yogurt. I'm going to use this dairy-free coconut yogurt because this would not be a Cambria video if we didn't have some type of coconut something in it. And then you just literally need whatever you want to top it with. So I showed you some of the toppings that I like, I would recommend. But the main thing that I love putting on my yogurt, which might be really weird, is coffee beans. Okay, these are so good. And then I add a little bit of chia seeds on there. And then I'm also going to do some coconut flakes. And then you got to add your peanut butter. So I use PB2 which is a chocolate flavored peanut butter it's like dried I don't know it's kind of weird but I love the flavor of it it's so good and that's all you need and now we're gonna make my protein pancakes these are so good well not mine but you know I mean they are this is my video so you're gonna need three egg whites a little bit of cinnamon and some almond milk and then of course you're gonna need a protein powder so we're gonna be using perfect fit protein this is the chocolate flavored this is the only protein powder that I eat and recommend it's my favorite and then what you want to do is crack three egg whites or separate three egg whites into a small blender and then take a scoop of your protein and a dash of cinnamon and then three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk and then you wanna blend it in the blender and blending it is gonna make it really fluffy and good. And then you wanna heat up your pan and you wanna grease this really well. A lot of you guys are like, I can't flip my pancakes, they're sticking. Grease it really, really well and cook it on a medium heat for kind of slowly. And then you wanna get a big spatula and carefully flip it over. That is the perfect way to make perfect fit pancakes. So there you go, and then what you wanna do is top it off with whatever you want, so you could top it with banana or blueberries. I'm using a little bit of the coconut yogurt and some almond butter, and then I'm just obsessed with anything coffee right now, so we're using coffee beans and some stevia, and then you can add a little side of fruit if you want. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coffee. Oh my gosh, this is the most delicious thing ever. I do not know why I don't, didn't, what, drink coffee earlier. So get your coffee, get some chocolate almond milk, Add a splash of the almond milk, super good. And then you wanna take just a dash of stevia to sweeten it up a little bit, you know. Coffee can be a little bitter, you know. And then you wanna add in about like a pinch or a ton of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So I'm gonna add in my cinnamon and then you wanna stir it all together, mix it all together. Okay, and then that is how you make my coffee. So thanks for watching. 
So if you try out any of these recipes, make sure to send me a picture with the hashtag Cambria's Kitchen. You can send me pictures on Twitter or Instagram. I am at Brie Loves Beauty on both of those. And if you like this video, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up so I can do more of these types of cooking health videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Spit that on there. I accidentally chewed two packs of gum while watching a movie. There's a spider coming. I just kept putting new piece in my mouth because the flavor was getting lost. Where is it? Oh, dang, it's hot. <laughs> now my stomach is literally killing me. Here I'm not licking the bowl. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna give birth. There's a spider. I'm not gonna give birth. <laughs> oh, right back there. They can't even see me. Coincidentally, I was watching the movie Dumb and Dumber. Can you see me now? And what I did was a pretty dumb thing. Feel free to add fruit. It has antioxidants, fiber, antioxidants. I just said antioxidants. <laughs> they don't make a video for a while. It's probably because I chewed too much gum.